Two weeks ago, a homeowner nearly lost everything when a fire erupted outside of her home in Highland Park. Investigators now say the fire may have been set in a homeless encampment located behind the fence of her home. Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cordero joining us live now with more. Christian. Mark Giovanna, we're in Sycamore Grove Park, which is wedged between Figueroa and the 110 Freeway. Right behind me is a walking path that connects this park to a nearby neighborhood, a neighborhood that is scarred by that house fire that homeowners say could have been prevented. In Highland Park today, a black tarp suggests a home under remodel. Feet away, a concrete slab shows what could have been left of it. Where are we standing right now? We're standing in what used to be my garage slash barn. Liliana Nava was home around noon on August 14th, one of the few luckier details. I heard the neighbor banging on the metal uh, fence. I looked out the window and she looked a little distressed. I ran down and she just said fire. The LA City Fire Department arrived fast enough to prevent it from spreading to the rest of the house, but the damage was done to the garage, her 74 year old mother's bedroom and the power line. To this day, they have no electricity. In 10 minutes, I just saw everything like fall apart. She says investigators told her the fire likely started here from her neighbors on the other side of the fence living in tents because there was no suspect there will be no arrest and she says no arson investigation if it was somebody that had something to lose or somebody that had uh, an address then you would point the finger and then what they would be they would take them to court they would go through the process but because they're homeless they don't care. The fire that damaged her property was the first of this scale, but it wasn't the first fire here or the last. She filmed this video Friday night showing one between a tent and her neighbor's garage, says they've complained several times. The city at some point does come and clean up. They move them around, um, but they always come back. She's working with her homeowner's insurance to try and recover from what happened and worries about what may happen if nothing changes. I know my neighbors have kids and I know my neighbors have um, elderly parents too and I would hate for a tragedy to happen just because we were ignored again. We reached out to the LA City Fire Department and council member in the season and this is office which represents this district. The LAFD says the cause of the fire is technically undetermined and without some other kind of evidence that they can't investigate it for arson. The council members office says that they are actively working with the people who are living in that encampment to try and find them housing. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.